the deeper we look into space, the farther back we see in time. Light travels 670 million miles an hour, but even at this speed, light from even the closest big galaxies takes millions of years to reach us. Looking deep is looking back, back to when the universe was younger. Right now, our best tool for viewing the young universe is the Hubble Space Telescope. This is Hubble's deepest view into space, known as the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. Here, astronomers have found galaxies so far away that their light began its journey to us more than 13 billion years ago. We're seeing these galaxies as they were when the universe was just 600 million years old. In human terms, this discovery is comparable to a teenager looking at a six-month-old baby. But for these galaxies, the universe was no nursery. It was more like a brutal football game. The earliest galaxies were small dwarfs, smaller even than the ones Hubble has seen. They grew by colliding and merging with other small galaxies, as shown in this simulation. Over billions of years, these mergers built up the giant galaxies we see today. Mergers triggered pulses of star formation that created the elements necessary for planets, and ultimately, life. But to see beyond Hubble, to witness the origin and development of galaxies, astronomers need a new tool. This is Hubble's successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, which is now being built. Its mirror, 2.75 times the size of Hubble's, and instruments are optimized for a part of the spectrum where the most distant galaxies shine, the infrared. Hubble sees infant galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope will see newborns. <laughs>